Warning, this is an opinion, but it's correct. What is cracking, guys? Today we are going to be discussing the controversy that has been going on in Goblin Slayer. Is this going to be count as noble news? Ah, maybe. All right, let's just roll the intro. But anyway, uh, this has been a, a point of a conflict between two sides of an anime fandom where they don't know exactly where the other stands. And I'm just here to say, well, both are correct in regards to their view on Goblin Slayer. And they just don't know it. One side says that, hey, quit being a little snowflake about all these scenes and just get over it. It's a dark fantasy, bad things happen. And while another side's going, hey dude, this is honestly too much to be shown uh, to me. Like, I, I didn't ask for any of this. And you're going, Noble, how can both possibly be correct on their view of it? H how is that possible? Well, I'm gonna explain it to you. If you guys don't know what Goblin Slayer is about, it's a man with horrible PTSD about goblins who have done horrible things uh, to him and also his family being all dead and either mutilated or even worse. You could even say the man has become somewhat autistic on his fixation of killing and slaying goblins for revenge. Now obviously I'm not going to show any pictures of this sensitive content to you because I'm sure some of you don't want to see it either, which is perfectly fine and acceptable. But anyway, the main source of all the debate uh, among the anime community here is what happened in the first episode uh, where a bunch of unprepared adventurers went to go on a simple goblin slaying quest and got horribly destroyed. One swordsman got mutilated and hacked into pieces while still alive. One girl got poisoned and basically mercy killed and another girl got... Uh, well, let's just say uh, th bad things happened to this poor girl. Things that you would see in an off-brand anime doujin. And you had a clear view of all the stuff being done to her. And also the fact that there was someone wetting themselves. And also the fact that, uh, yeah, there was child killing in it as well. So yeah, some pretty dark stuff going on inside Goblin Slayer, yes. And so people who walked into this anime, who expected some sort of, you know, fun goblin saying adventure were just greeted with some dark fantasy and some horrible f imagery. Uh, uh, obviously they'd be upset about that. But of course, here's the side saying, Hey Noble, it's just anime, and anime has shown all of these things that you have described before. Why does this make Goblin Slayer so special? What, and that's a good question. Why does it make it so special? It's, it's not doing anything too different. Well, here's the main thing. It's mostly due to the fact that people walked into it blindly not expecting to see it, and Goblin Slayer on Crunchyroll had a TV PG rating on it. Yeah, that's a big yikes. You know, obviously even I would have a problem if I wanted to hunker down and just watch something nice, cute, and wholesome, and then suddenly some magical girls are getting their heads bitten off, and I'm just like, oh my god! And I'd be also uh, a little bit uh, peeved if, you know, I had somebody else, like a child, or somebody else I didn't want to see this kind of crap get exposed to it. It would be extraordinarily awkward. Or, you know, have your parents walk in on you seeing this, and then they're thinking you're watching some off-brand content, and then now you're suddenly in some awkward trouble. So yes, a lot of the complaints about this show uh, came from uh, pretty much the place you go to watch anime in the first place, Crunchyroll. However, since then, Crunchyroll has done a amazingly good play uh, by just issuing a content warning and of course changing the rating of the show to give people a heads up on what they're getting into, which is what it should have had in the first place. And that's all they did. They didn't censor it anymore. They didn't do anything else. They just gave people a heads up. It's like, yo, this gets serious. 
And of course we have the other side saying like, Yo, are you kidding me? The other anime have such worse stuff in them. What are these guys? Just a bunch of pansies and stuff. Like, like, come on, get real. It's just labeling the content appropriately so people don't walk into it and get something entirely different. I would be upset if I went to a restaurant and I ordered a burger, but instead they presented me with some fish meal. Like, sure, it may be delicious and good, but I wanted a burger. There's even some people that go, hey, this ruins some of the fun and the plot twists and surprise that you get from it. Like, oh no, that's terrible. It's just like Doki Doki. And here's the thing. It's not just like that. Because you know why? Because Doki Doki gave you a huge heads up saying, yo, messed up stuff happens in this. And they gave you that warning multiple times. So yes, I've pretty much justified the people upset about the content in the first place now. But like, I should also defend the people that are saying, hey, this is nothing new and I I've done a little bit of it. I'm just gonna say like, it's a little bit like Berserk, you know? It's a dark fantasy setting. Bad things happen. Like, and in Berserk, it had all of the same elements that you're seeing in Goblin Slayer. The only big key difference is, is the characters in the world actually looked the part and they were all tired and gritty and stuff like that and they weren't Basically, cute, animified, uh, super sexy women that don't look like they belong anywhere near an adventure. But that's something entirely different in just an artistic style. Heck, even knows? Maybe even Berserk would have taken that new source of, of anime style, given the time period it was created in. It's hard to say. And of course, you know, there's some unjustified things people are saying, like saying Goblin Slayer is trash, that it's a horrible anime, and no, it's not really about the story. You know, none of this is really about whether Goblin Slayer is a good anime or not. Like, I've even read the entire manga. It gets way worse uh, later on. Like, there is tons of the stuff you see in off-brand anime still being proposed throughout the entire series. Heck, there's even a point where some of the captured girls are used as shields in battle. There's even a point where some captured girls uh, that were recently captured by goblins are burnt alive by Goblin Slayer unknowingly. There is some messed up stuff in it, alright? And is it interesting? I, I'm, I'm not gonna be here to judge. I've read the entire thing. I, th I thought it was an enjoyable ride for most of it. I, I didn't think it was anything spectacular. But seriously, this controversy is not whether or not the anime is good or not because of these things that go on. It was just about the content warning. And I, I know there's been some other people that are high up in the anime community saying like, Hey, this is like only normies are getting offended at filthy casuals and also anime elitists. Like I've seen, I've seen all the weird comments that are just off base and generalizing this. And of course, on the off end, I've also seen like only filthy degenerates could possibly like Goblin Slayer too. And that's just incorrect as well. It's an anime. It's not real life and it shouldn't be treated as real life. But still, this kind of media shouldn't just be propagated to the general public unknowingly. The best way I can imagine this is just like, you're on Nickelodeon, you just watch a nice episode of Spongebob at like 4 p.m. in the afternoon, you're like, oh man, I love this channel. And then up next is Goblin Slayer, and then you see this, and you're like, oh my god! And then it shoots back to like a nice happy anime afterwards, maybe like Avatar The Last Airbender. You're like. That made no sense being where it was. But anyway, I hope this cleared up a lot of the controversy. Both sides are correct. Uh, the ones that are defending Goblin Slayer, yes, they, they have every right to. This is really nothing new in anime. This It's still just a entertaining show people can enjoy that have a more dark fantasy setting. Like it's That's fine to enjoy. And the people who are on the offhand are going, hey, this needs to be like, censored or at least put to the side and not in the general public are also right. It needs that tag on it. It just needed a tag and put aside and labeled properly so other people don't want her to do it unknowingly and get something absolutely dreadful. And I guess I should also say before I wrap this up, it's like, I know some people are like, you should do your research before you wander into this. And like, look man, even me, who's pretty much a hardcore otaku here, watches a lot of- I, I don't research every single anime. Just looking at the cover of Goblin Slayer, like, oh, 
Well, that looks like a nice, fun anime, just slaying goblins. That looks like nothing bad's gonna happen at all in it. Most of the time, people just look at a cover and go, hey, let's go. And by the time you're researching it, you could have probably already watched the first episode. It's like a waste of time and you get spoilers. The only things that truly matter are it being tagged properly. And it wasn't. So that's why it needed to be tagged properly. So anyway, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this entire controversy of Goblin Slayer. Do you guys care about it? Were you guys even aware of it? I don't know, but it seemed like a big issue and I just wanted to clarify it all. Leave your thoughts and comments below. I am curious to hear it all. And I hope this has been enlightening and has been a breath of fresh air for both sides. So for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe for some more quality content, and I hope to see all of you beautiful sons of guns again next time. You crazy mother...